Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and the subject today we are studying is Cambridge O Levels Physics 5054. In this video, we are going to talk about the electrical symbols which are used in the electric circuits. And these are those electrical components and electric symbols which are used in different circuits in our syllabus. So the first electric symbol coming up on your screen is cell. So remember this symbol, wherever you have to draw a cell, you will draw this symbol. Then we have this symbol, which is for the battery or multiple cells joined together. Then we have this symbol for battery. This symbol can also be used. So both these are the symbols which are used in the circuit to represent a battery. Here this symbol is for the power supply. And this symbol is used for the DC power supply. That's why we write positive and negative on both the terminals. Then we have this symbol. This is for the AC power supply. And we put this uh, uh, sinusoidal wave symbol in the middle. This is representing the alternating power supply. Here this symbol is for the fixed resistor the fixed resistor whose resistance will not change then we have this symbol and this is for the variable resistor or we call it rheostate a variable resistor is a resistor whose resistance you can change you can make this its resistance higher or you can make its resistance lower then this is the symbol for the thermistor. Thermistor is a resistor whose resistance depends upon the temperature. If the temperature will be higher, the resistance of the thermistor will be less. And if the temperature of the thermistor will be lower, the resistance of the thermistor will be high. So this is the thermistor which is included in our syllabus and we use this symbol to represent it on a circuit. This is a light dependent resistor. Light dependent resistor is a resistor whose resistance depends upon the intensity of the light. If the light will become brighter, the resistance will become less. If the brightness of the light will decrease, the resistance of the light dependent resistor will increase. This is called LDR, light dependent resistor. This is the symbol for heater. Heater is a, a device which will convert the electric energy into thermal energy this symbol is for the potential divider potential divider is a circuit in which we um, get a voltage uh, which is less than the voltage of the power supply and we can change that output voltage we can uh, we cannot get a voltage more than the battery which is connected with the potential divider but we can decrease that voltage. It's a very important device. So this is the electric symbol for the potential divider. Then we have transformer. This is the symbol, electric symbol for the transformer. Transformer is also a device which is used to change the voltage. Okay. So this is called the magnetizing coil. Magnetizing coil. Okay, so then we have this symbol. And this is the symbol which represents switch. This symbol represents switch. 
Then we have this symbol. This symbol represents earth or the ground. You know, you use the earth wire or the ground wire. This is the symbol to represent it. Then we have this. This symbol is for the junction of the conductor. Junction of the conductor means here the two wires are electrically connected to each other. This is the symbol for the lamp. And this is frequently asked in the paper where you have to draw the symbol of the lamp in the circuit. This symbol is for the motor. The motor. And this is the symbol for the generator. Generator. And generator is a device which is used to induce electricity. The mechanical energy is converted into electric energy in the generator. Here we have the ammeter. Ammeter is a device which measures the amount of current in a circuit or flowing through a uh, electric component. Voltmeter. This is a symbol for the voltmeter and the voltmeter is a device which is used to measure the voltage drop across a component. This is the symbol for the diode. Diode is a semiconductor which only allows to the current in one direction. If the current will try to flow in the other direction, the diode will show a very high resistance. So the diode only allows the current to flow in one direction. This is the electric symbol for the light emitting diode. When you provide electricity in this, this gives out light. In We call it LED, light emitting diode. This electric symbol is for the fuse. Fuse is a safety devi device which is connected in the live wire. And it has a certain rating of the current. If the current will exceed its rating, the wire in the fuse will melt. So remember, this is the electric symbol for the fuse. This is the symbol for the relay coil. Relay coil is used to make relay and by controlling a switch in a circuit which has low current and low voltage, we can switch on and off another circuit which has very high voltage and a large amount of the current. This is the electric symbol for the oscilloscope. So my dear students, uh, th that's it. And today we have, uh, in this video, we have talked about the electric symbols. And these are some electric symbols which has been listed down by the Cambridge in the syllabus which they have issued for the physics 5054. So I am making this video from that booklet. So these symbols are authentic because they have been issued by the Cambridge itself for the syllabus Cambridge O Levels Physics 5054. So I hope this video will help you uh, to improve uh, the quality of your answers. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please share the link of this video onto your Twitter accounts and onto your Instagram accounts. Uh, because when you do this, this helps me to promote my channel. I think it's a great blessing for me that an, I can make these videos and I can touch the life of so many students around the globe. Thank you very much and have a good day.